I guess just what, what's this been like for you? I mean, I, I, in the day and age of NIL, you don't see a story like yours too much now where you go to Wofford and then obviously earned a scholarship. Here. Yeah. I mean, it's been a dream come true just the past year. Growing up in Oklahoma, just watching the Sooners play my whole life, it was always a dream to play here. So when Coach gave me that opportunity, I knew it was something I wanted to do and obviously put in a lot of work and thankfully got rewarded for it. So that's been a blessing for me and my family. Sounds like you've gained a lot of weight here over the uh, course of the offseason. Uh, what was that process like? Were you worried that you would lose any mobility or anything like that if you gained too much? Yeah, I mean, that was obviously a concern. I've never. I'm pushing 240 right now, so that's the highest I've ever been. And I was concerned for a little bit, but doing all the tests we have in the weight room, they're telling me I'm jumping higher and putting out more force and uh, just haven't really noticed any drop off on the court. So I think it's helping me all around. I guess it's pretty obvious, but that should help, I guess tons once you get it to conference play and you're having to yeah. go and get some of the bigger bodies. How, how, how tough was that last year? Uh, it was an adjustment for sure. Coming from the SoCon, you know, I didn't really know what to expect, but playing seven foot, like 260 guys every game, you know, you never really get a night off with anybody. So it was a grind for sure. But just knowing what I know now, that's the main takeaway I had from last season was just getting in the weight room and getting stronger. It's been like uh, grinding with Hughley here over the course of He's the He's a great summer. player, yeah. I can't say enough good things about him, man. We uh, we compete every day and make each other better, and I think that's only going to help us by the time the season rolls around, so I'm excited. Sounds like athletically you guys are going to be night and day different than what yeah. you were last year. Uh, how much will that help in being able to get out and run more this year? Yeah, I mean, that's going to it's gonna be a totally different style of basketball for us, and that's kind of what Coach has been preaching ever since the season ended, really. So he's going to play, play more up-tempo and faster and better on defense. So I feel like that's kind of what he recruited towards, and I've been seeing noticeable differences already just in the first two months. How impressive have those two new freshmen been? Oh, they're, they're amazing. Caden's obviously a freak athlete, and J. Cole's a knockdown shooter, so I think they're both going to come in and just contribute huge immediately. I think they're both going to have uh, opportunities to contribute and just help us win. How much different this offseason for you than last? I imagine you walk on here, you probably don't know exactly what your role is going to be this year. Scholarship, you know you're going to play a big role. How yep. different is that? Uh, I mean, I just know what to expect this year, and I know what's yeah. expected of me. So they, uh, last year, Tanner and guys like that set the standard for us, and we're just trying to keep it going. You know, just, uh, it's just work hard, be in the gym, lots of reps, stuff like that. So we're just trying to, all the returners are trying to set, uh, set the example for the new guys. So. Guy didn't get to play last year, uh, Luke. Just what, what do you imagine, or what are you expecting to see from him? Everybody has raves about him in yeah. practice. Just what do you anticipate we'll see whenever he gets I, I, I love Luke's game, man. You guys didn't get to see it. Luke is a baller. Dude can do a little bit of everything on the court. He can shoot. He can post up. He can facilitate. He can defend multiple positions. So I think you guys are going to be surprised by Luke this year. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Sure. Appreciate